and Finn the human. Fun that will never end. Adventure time! Oh! You know, there's parents watching that that like hate that show. I, I know. But my Jake is missing an arm. <laughs> With the cram, man. With the cram. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Well, I've only seen like every episode ever because our kids DVR it every single day. <laughs> well, they haven't in a really long time. Why do you think he's missing an arm? <laughs> I got insane and I ripped it off. Oh my gosh. You're so weird. That's your accessory for the day. Jake. Yeah. Whoa, Jake, Jake. come back. Here's Jake. What's okay. yours? The dog? Here's my accessory. Whoa. Right here. Here's my real dog. Jake is better. Hey. Want right. to be friends? Okay. Well, <laughs> people don't want to watch us do this all day. <laughs> no, they don't. No, I really felt very strongly about about. You just, Jake just went flying. I'm wait, I'm I'm introducing my jog dog to Jake. Maybe that's how he lost an arm. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so fetch Jake. So. 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 She just tooted. It stinks really no, bad. No, I did. not get off. <laughs> um, side to side, right here, shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. That's how a lot of marriages. I know Ginger is bringing us toys. This is this is my this my is dog's, dog's friend. Dog. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh! Don't. Oh. She's gonna bump the thing. Oh, she just did. Okay, let's get through this. All right. Okay. Through it. Through it. Shoulder to shoulder. Not in it. That's how a lot of stuff gets done. That's how co-workers, you work together shoulder to shoulder. You pay bills together. You raise kids together. Where are you going? You bump. Oh, I guess I am kind of in the middle. You, you do a lot of things shoulder to shoulder and you get through life. And then Yes, kids, kids, raise the kids. Pick and you, your nose. You're, you're shoulder to shoulder. Pick your partner's don't, nose. No, don't do that. So, um, kids move out and... You're still you shoulder to shoulder. Shoulder what are you working on? Yeah, there's not a whole lot to work on anymore. Have you missed this? Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, your eyes are beautiful. Oh. They remind me of Hershey gumdrops. I want to eat them. <laughs> wow. What, did, what are you on? Are you on something for your foot? You have, he, I may have broke his foot and you're... Yes. Are you on some heavy medication My foot right really now? hurts. <laughs> this is why we're on the floor. I don't no, want you to do much. I'm we're not on, on heavy medication. No. What this your, is me what suffering your marriage through needs. the pain of having her Wait, as a friend. Stop what, okay, stop. <laughs> Wait, stop. No, I want to get through this without it being 13 minutes long. Um, what your marriage needs to survive and thrive is being friends. Stay with me here. Don't just cut out, no, I know that. Wait a minute, do you really know that? Because we talk to a lot of married couples. They're not even friends anymore. They're, they're just not friends. They're, they are roommates. They're co-parents. They live in the same house. They serve each other, but they're not living face-to-face. -face. Yeah, they don't do anything fun together. They don't go on a date. They don't go on hikes. They don't go frisbee golfing. They don't do anything. He plays video games, she plays on her phone. I think that's our nights normally. I play video games and she plays Zelda. Same exact thing. But, you know, sometimes we do it together. She needs help, I'm the game master, I help her, but. But that is something, but we are finding joy together and it's not a resentful thing. You know what I mean? Because we're doing something together. But I think a lot of, well, what I'm trying to say is there's a lot of marriages that live shoulder to shoulder their whole lives. And you're not living face to face. and. Face to face is really the friendship. The only because, time you're face to face is when you're doing something. And maybe not even then. Wow. Sometimes that's fun. <laughs> I guess you could be looking both the same direction. <laughs> yes, yes, you can. Okay. Mm, got a little redder there. All right. No, honestly, though, we, we obviously are Christians and we talk a lot about the Bible because the Bible talks a lot about being friends. It talks about being friends with God and we will see him face to face. And there's a lot of face-to-face -face contact. And friends come in and go out of your life, but this should be your best friend. And I know a lot of marriage think, oh, my spouse should not be your best friend. If you have another best friend that's not your spouse, that means that you're sharing more with them and doing more with them and having more fun with them and being more emotional with someone else rather than this person. This should be your deepest friendship. And it is a friendship. Yes, you can have best friends of the you know, same gender, whatever, he's got his guy friends, I have my girlfriends. Definitely. People That's important. People like me. People like you. But this should be your best friend. This, you shouldn't put anybody else above this person. You know, if somebody calls, if, you're, if your spouse calls and they are needed and you leave to go and be with them, then that person goes, what, are they more important than me? 
Yes. yes. Your spouse is the most important spouse, person. Yes, and yeah. they should be. This should be your ultimate relationship, you know, and... So when you're on a date, don't take a phone call from somebody else because you're telling your spouse that that person is more important. Yeah. Unless you, you know, I would say unless it's a girlfriend and you know they're having really big issues, then explain that you and then take... girlfriends call when we're on a date? Yeah, yeah you know. That's how that's I roll. That's really rude. That's how I roll. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's really wrong. Unless you, there's a crisis, then explain that there is a crisis and then... Okay, but Separate. anyway, but yeah, there are reasons. This is your most this important is, but also, relationship. Exactly, and in Proverbs it says, faithful are the wounds of a friend. Now what does that mean? If somebody you're maybe an acquaintance with, or you're not, you know, you're friendly towards them, but you're not friends with them, and they say something critical or they bring up an issue, you get kind of resentful, and you might it might separate some friendship there. Wounds of a friend, if you have a very faithful friend that's honest with you, told you like it is, wants to help you and doesn't have an ulterior motive and says, I see this issue in your life. I think this is a problem. You listen to that because that it might hurt, but it, it's a good thing. It's a faithful thing. And before you can correct with your spouse or bring up issues or even weather issues with your spouse, you have to connect and you have to have that friendship going on as a basis. Look, we are friends. I'm your partner. I'm with you. I support you. I'm whatever is going on in your life. I am here for you, you know. And you have that friendship first before you can correct issues or bring up issues or deal with stuff. If you have that as a base of friendship, a deep friendship, you are obviously friends to begin with, you know. Where did that friendship go? Has it turned into roommates now? And you're just annoying the crap out of each other all the time. You need to seek desperately to find that friendship again and why you guys actually like each other. Not love each other, but like each other. And why this is important, we, we have our own home business, so it's really important because if I'm slipping during my home business, she'll kick me in the butt. And if she's slipping, I'll kick her in the butt. And it's, we have to have that friendship as a foundation, and it's the same thing spiritually as well. She'll come into my office and go, you're not reading the Bible enough, you're not praying like you used to, you're not doing these things, now fix it. A friend can get away with that. A spouse, yeah. a friend can get away with that. And if your spouse can't, then they are not your friend. And That's I know that good. she's doing it with a loving heart. She's not doing it to be yeah. anything else but loving. She needs me to be the spiritual leader of the family. And if I'm not being the spiritual leader of the family, she has the right to kick my butt so I will be the spiritual leader that she needs. And vice versa. If she's fallen away from God, then I'm going to go back and say, hey, you're not doing these things. And the best thing about it is that she's praying for me before she even says anything. So she can say, hey, you're not doing any of these things. And then my whole next week can change because she's praying for me throughout rather than just, you know what, you suck and I'm going to shut the door and we're just going to work side to side. Yeah. Work face to face. not a friendship. Before I got on the video, she was picking all the zits on my face like a no, monkey. No, I wasn't. You had dirt in your ear. Yeah, see? But that's what friends do. <laughs> <laughs> that's what friends do. Hey, there's something wrong with your face. Maybe you should put a mask on. <laughs> yeah, I could put, put like one of those, oh, you know, like a facial mask. I could do that. So, no. But no, you have to be friends. Be friends. You guys were friends once. You can be friendly with a lot of people, but there's only a few people that you're really good friends with. And friends do come and go. And it took me a long time to get that, where I feel like if I had a friend, I have to maintain that friendship and you have to be my friend forever. And I've realized, you know what? Friends come and go for a season in your life and that's okay. It doesn't mean you don't love them anymore or it doesn't even mean you don't like them anymore, but they do come and go. And some friendships you shouldn't hold on to except for this one. This is your friendship that you should maintain work at and hold on to. If you're working harder to maintain outside friendships than this friendship, then you, you're unbalanced. This one is deteriorating. Yep. And this is that. the one that matters because this is the one that's, you know, you've promised to be forever with. Yeah. You didn't promise to be forever with the person you graduated high school with. That's good. You promised to be forever with, with the person in front of you, eye to eye, or shoulder to shoulder, depending on what you guys are doing. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to bring up sex there. <laughs> Although, so look each other way, in the eyes the next this, time. Sex this way would be very difficult. Well, I don't know how that would happen. I could show you. Okay, let's do that off camera. <laughs> okay. All right, we love you. Be friendly. Yeah. Be friends with your spouse. Even in bed, laugh at each other during sex. Yes. Don't laugh at each other. Don't laugh at me. Oh. That might be. <laughs> well, 
Oh, you think I'm laughing at you? Or with you, but I'm really laughing at you. (laughs) (laughs) All right, we'll see you guys next Monday. Bye.